Samsung is set to make a groundbreaking design shift with the upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra. In recent years, they've been borrowing design cues from Apple, which had me worried that the S25 Ultra might end up looking too much like an iPhone. Fortunately, it seems Samsung is charting its own path with this new release. Hey everyone, his transform here. Before we dive into the sleek new design of the Galaxy S25 Ultra, let's talk about one of the most exciting and confirmed upgrades for this powerhouse, a whopping 16 gigabytes of RAM. But hold on, this isn't just your regular RAM. Samsung is upping the ante with a faster LPDDR6 RAM in their 2025 flagship models. The last time we saw 16 gigabytes of RAM in a Samsung phone, was with the S21 Ultra. You might be thinking, isn't 16 gigabytes of RAM on a phone overkill? And sure, right now, it might seem that way. Take the iPhone 15 Pro Max, for instance. It operates smoothly with just eight gigabytes of RAM. However, the Android operating system demands more resources, particularly when it comes to the latest AI features that need substantial RAM to run efficiently. While 16 gigabytes of RAM might appear excessive for current flagship phones, this argument doesn't hold up when you consider the future of on-device AI. AI applications process enormous amounts of data at lightning speeds, and as they evolve, they'll require even more RAM to maintain their performance. This makes the 16 gigabytes of RAM a forward-thinking move by Samsung, ensuring that the S25 Ultra is not only capable of handling today's AI features, but is also ready for the more complex applications of tomorrow. So when you think about it, Samsung's decision to equip the S25 Ultra with 16 gigabytes of RAM is a masterstroke. It's about future-proofing the device, making sure it remains at the cutting edge of technology and capable of handling whatever comes next without breaking a sweat. Stay tuned as we explore more about this revolutionary device and what it means for the future of smartphones. This is a good upgrade, as long as Samsung doesn't use it as an excuse to hike up the prices. RAM is relatively cheap to produce in bulk, so there's no reason for a significant cost increase. As for the design, the S25 Ultra is getting a much-needed makeover. There were rumors that Samsung would abandon the boxy look in favor of a more rounded design similar to the Galaxy Note 7. Now, Ice Universe has revealed more details about this design. He mentions that the S25 Ultra will have a new frame design that's rounded on the back and straight on the display side. This will make the frame thinner and even reduce the bezels on the sides of the display. Think of it like the Galaxy Note 5 or the regular Galaxy S7, with those rounded corners and thinner, flat frames that curve towards the back. This new design should make the S25 Ultra more comfortable to hold compared to the S24 Ultra. And most importantly, it won't look like an iPhone. Moving on to battery and charging. According to Ice Universe, the S25 Ultra will retain the 5000 mAh capacity and 45W charging speed. While the new 3 nanometer chipset might help with efficiency, this is somewhat disappointing given the competition, especially from Chinese manufacturers offering 5,200 or 5,500 MA batteries. Interestingly, there was a rumor some time ago that Samsung is developing battery AI for the S25 Ultra which could potentially boost battery life by around 10%. If this turns out to be true, sticking with a 5,000 mAh battery might not be an issue at all. On a brighter note, it looks like the S25 Ultra will finally get satellite connectivity. Android Authority found some code in Samsung's software, hinting that the company is preparing its devices for the age of smartphones talking to satellites. Here's what they found. You'll be able to send emergency texts via satellite, though you'll have to use Google Messages for it since Samsung Messages doesn't support this feature. You can also make emergency calls if there is a mobile network nearby, but it won't support two-way satellite communication like Qualcomm showed off a while ago. That's all for today, folks. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. This way, you'll be the first to see my new videos as soon as they go live. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.